welcome back for more exo zeros content today's video we're going to discuss our second unleashed potential guide for faded heroes but before that if you want to see more exo zeros content please hit the subscribe button down below so here we're off to another unleashed potential guide for our faded heroes so for this video we're going to discuss the following heroes so first and foremost um ramji baraka valar Shell, Ulum, Kylock, and Awakened Zeon. So again, um, just to recap on, on what we discussed with the previous video. So again, please do check your Fate Core stats and also know who you need to unleash first in terms of unleashing potentials of whoever or, or who, whoever the hero you want to unleash potential of. And what skills do you need to address first? So take a look at those before you try to unleash the potential of any hero so for this video we're going to focus on the third group of faded heroes actually this is the this is part two um the very first one that i made was for generals you may take a look at it here i'll put the link up there and um we'll start off with ramji so ramji is um is a bit unique because I actually found out that um, Ramji has a very good uh, what they call this um, additional to his passive for his uh, cleanse three. So we have their overtime effect, which reduces damage to uh, damage al against allies by thirty percent. So. Again, Ramji has this special skill. I think only three of them have this in the game, including Seowa and Shell is the other one, so which I'll discuss later. So you might have guessed it. The first priority for Ramji would be your stamina tree. Obviously, you need to make sure that he has enough health and survivability. Um, I checked already with Ramji's um, fate core. Uh, he doesn't really need any specific stats, so I'll go directly to his and his potential so once after you're done with the stamina tree the next would be your defense tree again to improve his survivability and for his uh, final for the tree is deals additional 12% of maximum health damage when the, the attack hits so again, you need to level up stamina so that you may be able to get to give his S2 an additional um, damage of own maximum health. And for his S1, again, it's own also maximum health. So this, the attack tree would be the last one to be finished off. Um, you are leveling up Ramji because of his support, not really for his for his damage uh, when you play him the game. So next we have Baraka. So for Baraka, also no, no, no other implication or no, no other stat I should increase for his fate core. So we'll go on to um, looking at his skills. So same, no, no skills to be added. So we go straight again to his stamina tree to level up first or to, to grow first. So you must switch this one because this gives him additional 1,000 piercing damage when attacking the enemy. Okay, and you will also need him to get more health because Baraka is kind of squishy, and you need. I can't click it. Sorry. <laughs> um, you need to you need to finish off the the, the the stamina tree for more health and more damage right here. If you click on. His S2 additional unleashed um, potential, it's bind for two thirds. So not really that um, impactful unless he goes early, which he usually does. So it's only two thirds. So um, you can actually make it count while the enemy doesn't have that much mana. And also the second, um, the second um, tree that you want to prioritize with Baraka is your attack tree because he is a attack type player and his attacks attack skills needs to be increased. Okie doke. And we move on to 
Valar. So for those who haven't used Valar, Valar is actually pretty good when it comes to his fate core, but there's there's no really additional bonuses that needs to be improved in terms of his fate core. So we'll go straight to his Unleash Potential tree. So again, um, for Valar, you need to prioritize um, his stamina tree because of his reduce all allies damage by 15%. He also has this, but, but it's only a small version compared to Ramji. So again, increase uh, stamina and health. And because uh, Valar is a defensive type character or hero, you also need to prioritize next his defense tree. So deals additional 60% of own defense when attack hits. So again, increases defense so that you you would you be able to deal more defense. So going through this path, this line, and the last one would be again deals additional 45% of own defense when the attack hits. So. All in all, this is a good addition to Valar because he needs um, a lot of damage to be dealt. He can be uh, used already with Signature Force and this is a good addition as well if you want to increase his damage. The next that we have on our list is... Shell. Shell is actually very squishy. That, that is why you need to improve on her stamina or her HP. So, priority would be her stamina tree up until here. So, again, she gives reduces damage against all allies by 30%, which is very good in this game. So, she needs to survive and she needs to give more survivability to her team member members as well. So, go through HP here. Then the second would be for Shell would be again for defense because you need to, again give her more survivability and for her niche potential for S2 so deals additional 8% of own maximum health when the attack hits which is also why you should do first your stamina tree and for this one for niche potential here so grant status effect immunity one time to self can't be stacked so this is also good once you're done with defense, you go, you, you then proceed to her attack tree for Anish potential. The other one that uh, you also would want to proceed in Anish potential is Ulum. So for Ulum, um, again, there are there aren't um, stats that you should increase. Um, let's go ahead and check out his Anish potential. So for Ulum. Sorry. So for Alum, again, he's a defensive character, or she's a defensive character, or hero. So you, again, you prioritize here because uh, he gives you reduced damage, uh, reduced ally damage by 15%, and you increase his stamina and HP. Then once after your stamina tree, you then proceed to to his defense tree, with which ultimately gives you a niche potential effect of. Se uh, deals additional 75% of own de defense when, when the attack hits. So it gives you additional damage through his defense and you should um, improve on his defense here and here. For his for his attack tree, it's also additional, um, additional damage to 60% of own defense when attack hits as well. So Again, prioritize stamina, then defense tree if possible. The next would be Kylock. Kylock needs a little bit of love in terms of if you want to use him. Um, he's a bit squishy, so squishy that he needs to be, he needs to survive and he needs to, you know, create havoc um, within the battlefield in terms of his spells or, or skills. So for Kylock, the first would be defense. So you go with the defense tree because of his bind, because it deals 89% uh, damage to all enemies and bind is actually good to pair with AOE skills. So increases defense here and here. And uh, also the next would be 
to his stamina tree. So the last part is gives him additional 1000 piercing damage when attacking the enemy. You can actually switch between priorities if you want to go with stamina first or defense. But it's really up to you on which do you want to to go first. But I would suggest you go with 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 uh, the defense tree because of the bind for his AOE. And lastly, guys, the last hero for this video for Fated Heroes Part Two would be Awakened Zeon. So for Awakened Zeon, um, he actually needs additional damage. That is why I have to go through the stamina tree because of this one. Deals additional 1000 piercing damage when attacking the enemy, which is very good. He's already a great damage dealer, but it's it's you know it's it's never too bad or it's never a a unwise decision to add to his damage. And also the next after his stamina tree, you would go for attack because he's, a, he's an attack type character to increase it to increase his attack and also to afflict target with bind for three turns so for this time it's three turns so bigger or longer bind for awakened zeon also for his defense tree it's also three turns so that's good even a longer duration than the usual so anyway guys this is my third video ready for niche potential I will be featuring another Unleashed Potential video, probably my last for Faded Heroes. Anyway guys, that is it for me, so you all stay safe out there. This is The Warden, and I'm out.